up against one of Japan's fighting gods, Horisako going with Evil Ryu. Now Ricky Ortiz just saw his EG teammate Momochi go down. I'm sure he does not want to let people see two EG players go down right in a row. Oh. But a crumple to start up. And a, what? A rare drop of execution from Sako. Indeed. Who is known for his execution. And Ricky smelling blood going in. Sako finding his feet. Good counter. Good block from Ricky. But again, Sako with the drop. Wow. Very uncharacteristic of him. Oh, and he baits it out. He baits out the throw. Don't think it's gonna kill. But it puts him in danger of some chip damage stuff. What's he gonna, yes, he finds the cross up. And that's deceiving because sometimes that's not even a cross up. You know, I mean. Yeah, I, I was it's very rough, yeah. I was talking to Justin, he says, actually large time those dive kicks aren't cross ups. But because they look so ambiguous, more people walk into them than they should. It's very starts. I was really impressed by Ricky's round one play there. Okay, here we go. He played in a very neutral sort of reserve style at the very opening, even after he got crumpled. But as soon as he saw Sako drop that combo, he went ham. Went yeah. straight for the throat and said, okay, I can tell you're off your game. I'm going in. I'm going to take some chances I wouldn't take against you ordinarily. And he got paid off in a big way. Fantastic stuff. Great adjustment from Ricky Ortiz. Yeah, and despite being good friends and being on the same team, Ricky and Justin both use Rufus very differently. Ricky very offensive, as you mentioned. That's what we saw in the first round, but here's another wow. crumple. Sako Sako's not gonna miss this one. Oh, fancy stuff. And he stood, when he had Ricky cornered, he stood the perfect distance saying, really all you can do here is roundhouse sweep. Don't you want a roundhouse sweep? Ricky took the bait and he had a focus attack queued up right there and able to land the combo. Close out round two. Strong recovery from Sako. And this is something that's very fortunate for Sako. Rupus has a hurt box designed very poorly so that it, it <laughs> Evil Ryu gets unique combos on him. He gets more loot. That is the true. Crouch fierce into the Ryuso Kaku than well, other characters. Oh! Did. And that was beautiful closer by Ricky. I mean, he had a really big lead that whole round, but he did the early dive kick to say, like, oh, whoops, I did an early dive kick. Like, surprise, I actually didn't mistime anything. I've got exactly. another dive kick coming down. Well, you think you're going to throw my errant first dive kick. Very smart stuff. Oh! Now, these guys are going at it. I like this. Nice change of pace from some of the science. Versus the chess matches we've seen so far here today. Oh, again, Sako dropping combos. But a lot of control here shown. Ricky battling out. Perfectly spaced dive kick. Got a forward throw instead of a back throw. I'm sure he would have liked that. Oh, nice. Two hit close standing forward. Rarely seen, yeah. The throw tech from Sako. And Ricky pushing his way out. Great crouching strong counter. Oh, a backdash instead of an uppercut from Sako. Like, he doesn't want to risk it. Yeah. He's got the life lead. I think that's very smart. You don't need a challenge in this situation. He's looking for it. Looking for it. Again, not trying to challenge that. Oh, wow. Ricky just using that to push him closer to the corner. Oh, oh he missed the stand strong. He did. That was all. Oh. And again, Ricky has gone to that low form, or excuse me, the low strong anti-air against. That could be it. It is. Hori Sako answering back. Round one of game two. Yeah, Ricky showing that crouching strong consistently as anti-air. And that is a slight risk against Evil Ryu. He does have some aerial options, including a dive kick. It's not the best dive kick, because it doesn't give you as much flexibility as, say, a Kami dive kick. But it does put that standing, or the crouching strong from Rufus uh, as a, a relative risk. Oh, wow. That's one of the new features of that move. Juggles fully now. Oh, he read the teleport. Oh, doesn't get the punish. And Sako does get the punish. Oh no, but does not get an offensive attack on Ricky's wake up with proper timing. So now Ricky taking momentum away. Sako saying, I have the uppercut here. Oh, here we go in the ultra. ultra. Yes. All right, no EG specialty. A lot of the EG players known for accidentally dropping that. What's Ricky got here for the finish? Oh, good tech. But Sako's out. Oh, oh, oh just oh short of the crumple. My. Oh, oh my. So smart by Ricky. He says, all I need is this much damage to close it out. I don't care if this move doesn't combo in anything. I'm just going to throw it out relentlessly. Eventually, Sako will run into it. Sako jumping in now and finding max damage. Oh, oh it fades it out. OK, Ricky getting away. And there you saw one, you know, the, the, the Rufus specific combo right there. Yes. He could have went for another two or three axe kick loops after the FADC, but instead chose to bait out Ricky's meter. Great tech there from Ricky, staying alive in this round after that horrific opening combo from Sako. Yeah. 
pressure. Oh, here we go. That is what Evo Ryu is so good at. Choosing to juggle with the jab uppercut to get the meaty fireball situation. Oh! Wow, great tech again by Ricky to stay alive here. Dominant round from Sako and playing so, so strong. Maintaining his perfect position, dancing into low forward range only when he chooses. But the problem is Ricky slowly by slowly getting him closer to the corner. That's exactly what Ricky wants so he can get Galactic Tornado oh. into the Ultra. Oh, there's that standing forward and now in danger of chip damage. Finds the opening. Ooh. Again with the low sweep. Oh, oh he got, got it. it! He got it! Ricky it's Ortiz! Gonna it's going to be very close. He'll read without much life. Ooh. Yes, and the crowd feeling it. Ricky Ortiz, the five, the last remaining god of Japanese Street Fighter or fighting games in general. But you know what? If we were going to make a five gods of America, Ricky Ortiz would easily be on that list. I think that's correct, as might Snake Eyes. Uh, these are some incredible players. Snake Eyes relatively new, but incredible skill. America well represented here in the final eight, and Ricky looking to see what he can do. I know he wants this. We had a discussion about this earlier. He said, I know I can win this. I looked at the bracket. I know what my opponents are capable of. I know I can win. I like that attitude. Yeah, and he's Ricky. playing so strong so far. And Ricky, of course, was second place finisher only to Daigo in 2010. So we talked about only one champ left. Oh, look at this. Ow! Ow! ow make it ow, stop! Ow! Ay, ay, ay! Well, we do have one runner up here as well in Ricky Ortiz. Oh, oh. did get him? Smart stop! But it's not going to be the full animation. Doesn't need it! Will still be enough to kill. And I can tell you Sako's happy with that, but that is only round one of this game three. Sako still needs to get on the board with the win. Oh, he baited out the throw attempt again. Smart stuff from Ricky. Sako's combos looking so, oh. Big trade scramble, double dizzy. Evil Ryu does get dizzy a little easier than most characters. And Ricky, oh! oh! Just bullying him. <laughs> so many fierces. Stage now transitions to nighttime. Sako opening with those jabs, finding Pater now going low. Looking much better this round. Oh, oh. again! Dropping the combos, but still gets the dizzy gets here. Dizzy of his own and answering back. Looking to put Ricky out in this game three. Oh! So oh! Ah! Oh! Oh my god! I don't, I don't, don't somebody think of the children. Humanity, I don't even know about that combo. And just like that, Sako looking pleased. <laughs> Back on the board, it is going to be 2-1 in this best of five set. Nice. Maybe pushing and doing some control on that tornado. But Sako in there again with the jump, drops one. Sako now going to those jabs much more often, not respecting Ricky's throw options. Oh, and he's got a dizzy again. Oh, oh. this is gonna go right into Ultra. I don't think it's gonna kill because the Ultra wasn't that full. Oh, it is, it's enough, <laughs> it is enough, okay. All right. Even Sako might have been a little surprised by that. Ricky needs to find his feet. After such a strong start, Sako has answered back in a big way and is now one round away from heaving it up. Oh, and Ricky with his own drop now. Let's see if Ricky has had a lot of momentum in the first two, two games. Let's see if, if he's playing a little more nervous now with those drops. Oh, and there it is, that risky crouching strong, but Ricky pulls it out in the scramble. Here we go. Oh, oh again. Second the time same he's dropped exact that drop. Link. Yeah. Very troubling. Not this time. He's got it. And? And he gets his own dizzy to counter Sako. Great and stuff. Once again, it's going to be match point. Ricky Ortiz. And this is an elimination match. This is loser's bracket action. Sako, the god of Japanese fighting games, could be on the fast track to seventh place. Ricky not dropping it again this time. Pushing him towards the corner. Oh, get him again. Low strong now. And oh. the left focus. 
Style time, but a little bit of a drop. Still in good position. Oh, Finds the Dizzy. Still, this is actually better for him. Exactly. Because he only got the one Dizzy on that one hit. And he got oh, the ball oh. no. Ricky, Ricky Ortiz. Ortiz. So tough. And now we have just had Europe and USA take turns sending two of the Japanese players home. They were the only group that had four representatives here, but they are only down to two now.